Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior, and today I'm going to be talking about Julia and Michelle Chang. Now first off, let's talk about Michelle. Now Michelle is of Native American and Chinese descent, and was a very known archaeologist even at an extremely young age. This would eventually catch the attention of one Heihachi Mishima. Now he would in fact fly her over to America so that she could find Native American treasure, but instead Michelle found love, and shortly abandoned the mission that Heihachi Mishima had given her. Now not wanting this deed to go unpunished, on Michelle's 18th birthday, Heihachi would orchestrate the assassination of Michelle's father. And with all ties pointing to Heihachi, she would enter the King of the Iron Fist tournament to exact her revenge. Now, as we all know, it's Kazuya who does win the first tournament, so she is unsuccessful. But during the tournament, she would be ambushed by Kunimitsu, an ex Monji clan member who was interested in the valuable amulet that she had owned. Now, during the events of Tekken 2, Kazuya sets his eyes on Michelle's amulet, and wanting leverage over her, he would in fact have her mother kidnapped. Now Michelle would understandably take the bait and enter the second King of the Iron Fist tournament. Now during the tournament, she would go head to head with Ganryu, a bodyguard of Kazuya and someone who was supposed to in fact capture her. But Ganryu became enticed with Michelle, although this wasn't actually reciprocated. Now by the end of the tournament, Michelle was able to rescue her mother and keep a hold of her amulet. And shortly after the tournament was finished, Michelle found a young baby girl abandoned in a Native American settlement. Now Michelle would in fact decide to adopt this girl. And and name her Julia. Now Julia grew up as a very happy individual. Being brought up well by Michelle, she had a rather optimistic outlook on life. Plus, she was extremely well versed in martial arts as she had been taught by Michelle. Now when the third Tekken game rolls around, Julia began to hear from her tribe that some sort of god of fighting was going to surface. Now Julia initially didn't really believe this at first, as it could just be deemed as a campfire story. Now Michelle would go and reach out to Heihachi Mishima, as she wanted to know more about this amulet that she had. But in typical Heihachi Mishima style, he would kidnap her and use her amulet to in fact awaken Ogre. This in fact led to many fighters perishing after he started to walk the planet. Now Julia, understandably shocked, would seek out her mother during the King of the Iron Fist tournament 3. Now she was successful in fact finding her mother, and it's actually Michelle's last appearance within the main canon. It's implied that after this she is still alive, she just most likely have returned back to either China or is living a quiet life. So from this point onwards, Julia becomes her successor. Now during the events of Tekken 4, we learn that Julia is a college student learning archaeology, taking up after her mother. Now one day she'd be notified that her native homeland was in danger due to deforestation and a massive change in the global ecosystem. Now in order to help out her homeland, she would join a research group with the hopes of finding a way to help cleanse the earth. But when the machine was about to attack the G Corporation and stole a large amount of research, Julia's files were apparently on that system. Knowing that she had to get this information back, she would enter the King of the Iron Fist Tournament 4 with the hopes of finishing what she had started. Now by the end of the tournament, she was unsuccessful in reclaiming this, but this doesn't demotivate her, as she attempts to continue the research that she had stolen from her. And she was doing extremely well till she hit a dead end. So when the King of the Iron Fist Tournament 5 was announced, she would instantly enter, hoping that once again, she'd be able to retrieve that data. And by the time Tekken 6 had rolled around, we in fact learned that she was successful, and travels down to Arizona, where her native land is, and begins her reforestation plans. Now whilst in Arizona, she would talk to a woman who claimed that she could hear the voice of spirits, and was told by her that Jin Kazama and Kazuya Mishima must not be allowed to clash. If they were to confront each other, a great source of evil would be resurrected and unleashed upon the earth. Now Julia did believe that this was a little bit too hokey for her, but after hearing that Jin Kazama had announced the 6th King of the Iron Fist tournament, she knew she would have to enter in order to prevent any turmoil. Of course, as we all know, Tekken 6 Arcade takes a backseat for the scenario campaign, where Lars Alexanderson is the main protagonist. But where does this leave us with Julia? Well, in all honesty, I don't quite know. Julia isn't in Tekken 7, so we can only go by off her arcade ending in Tekken 6, where she's seen rock climbing to the very top of what I can probably presume is a large mountain. 
content. Now Julia's story arc does seem to be kind of at a close and she just did want to do the whole deforestation thing. So I don't really know what she can kind of do from here onwards. So I'll leave the decision to you guys in the comments below. Would you like to see Michelle or Julia Chang back? And if you had to pick one of the two to actually return, who would you and why? Put it down in the comments below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I haven't done a history of video in quite a while. Got to admit, I've quite enjoyed doing this after taking quite a long hiatus. Now, before this video wraps up, guys, if possible, let's try getting it to about 500 likes. It's a great way of supporting this channel, as YouTube's ad system is broken as hell right now. So by giving it a thumbs up, it not only helps me, but this channel as a whole. Now, as always, guys, please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>